Well, hello, this is Jim with some Total Nerdy Channel, and I am so unsure of where to put all the formats everywhere. But we are going to build an advanced fighter. Oh, yes, step by step. It will be several videos, I believe. Um, thing is that it's kind of like uh, I don't know if it's let's play or sh or build or I don't know I don't know format it's so hard what are these doing here um, but the thing is we're going to build this and uh, well we're going to do it in survival that's why it's hard <laughs> oh well uh, it doesn't really matter it will be uh, videos of it anyway so I mean all right we should now use this. How do you even use it? All right. Now then. I'm so unused to using shipyards. Well, we should go in and change to our real inventory here somewhere. Cargo. I mean, cargo inventory, that is. Um, and now let's see here. How do we begin a ship? <laughs> okay. Um, like out of source shipyard invalid. Oh, that's why. Uh, no design loaded. All right. Then we're going to. I guess we need to connect it up because when when we moved the city, it uh, was a little bit of well fancy stuff here all right there we have two that one that one well it will be a fighter but it will be heavy fighter so it will fit um, nicely inside this bay it should be quite much space left actually not connected to what shipyard have I can't ha I don't have time to see that area arc it's like it's so annoying why can't I <laughs> oh well shipyard have exactly one connected shipyard core anchor oh yeah it's too fast so annoying <laughs> that's the small this is for the beta phase I shouldn't get annoyed by stuff that's in uh, well place order Create new design, and this is odd. Advanced, advanced, odd. Yes, advanced fighter. That's probably rightly spelled right here. Okay. Um, place order. No. Construct current design. That's not right. Create blueprint. Test out design. And load design. Load design. Construct. No. Shows a name. Okay. Should I go into the build block now? No. I was in the build block. Okay. So. All right. And here we have the shadowed uh, right. And now we can basically build in without having the resources, right? Now, now we actually use the resources. That's special. Um, maybe I need to go out physically. Is that so? As you as you noticed, I barely used the shipyard before. I just know that I can uh, access the creative menu through here. And uh, this fantastic uh, multiplayer server of Star Squadron uh, lags a lot less for me. Why is it blinking? Oh well, doesn't matter. It's lagging a lot less for me than if I would use like... Yes. Oh, now it looks real. But it doesn't use any resources. That's what I'm searching for. Yes, <laughs> excuse me for that. Um, I, uh, let's see here, cargo, um, all right, here is, here is creative. Now, mm, 
advanced things are white because um, I don't know it looks clean uh, so we're going to use uh, well white standard armor and white advanced armor and then we will have the countering dark gray hull for main uh, we will of course begin with setting up some good power that's any first step of any advanced fighter and uh, you might think oh what's ad advanced with your fighter uh, well then it's firstly it's not going to be uh, yes it is going to be damn it or is it yes we're going to build it as much uh, with a uh, uneven amount of blocks even though my ship bay is <laughs> weird um, but the thing that's advanced with the fighter is that I will throw in so many fancy cool uh, knowledge stuff that I know uh, of well very many fancy features it will have countermeasures for example I have never made countermeasures before so I wanted to make countermeasures you understand me yes you do so that's nice well a fighter doesn't need that big uh, interior but we do want some interior um, while we build we should also implement uh, using of uh, well masset is good with great break off uh, then we'll of course need crystal armor and uh, now color selection it's so hard maybe teal is there teal crystal armor there is let's use teal I'm gonna use teal for this one um, then what do we also need we we'll need kind of uh, jump drives yeah sure but that w that we throw in uh, that we need thrusters is good to mix in with the designs um, yep. now let's see here you see this uh, white advanced armor here what we will do is uh, actually a little while back here uh, I'm just stretching out here we're going to make this uh, like computer bay uh, if you so say it's basically going to be a little uh, safe storage for oral or uh, all our computers so we can keep them nice and safe because if the computers die out then we will be defenseless and well it's going to be a rather big uh, fighter and well people have they're all different definitions of what's a fighter and what's a ship like that and what's a ship like this and uh, well whatever I'm just gonna use my weird definitions for better or worse this is a fighter it's a heavy fighter but yeah <laughs> in some sense you could say that uh, well Bus, uh, Bus beam ship is some kind of mega fighter in a way because it's basically have the fighter ship role so here uh, I believe we'll have our little computer bay um, I don't know if we'll need to extend it but we will of course have the roof open uh, while we build it I believe like that we don't need corners of it uh, I mean you can be safe and you can be paranoid but we will throw in our little jump drive computer here let's enable this computers will be at uh, well both sides if we need um, doesn't matter what direction they are we just want it to be looking nice now we can go in and exchange this for that and we can start placing down blocks whenever we feel like all right 
sorry, uh, power systems. Full length of ship. How long will it be? We hopefully need to know that in order to be able to make it to optimal, optimal size here. Uh, and I'm thinking of uh, rearranging the. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, no. At least uh, eight. Or eight, I think it was, or nine long. It was to make it efficient to have it in long rods, and it will be four more than that. Um, I'm thinking that full ship might be 20 or so. So we will, of course, make uh, rather long rods like this. And, well, this long it will not be. Let's shorten that off here. I can't imagine it uh, extending much further than uh, this, maybe. Let's make a little more. I'm all may always disappointed at the power of all ships I made. Or like, even how big they are, I'm like, oh, they could be more powerful. Uh, but the funny thing is that I like... I don't think the actual performance of the ship is uh, more important than the, like, realistic or roleplay or, well, other values. I don't know what to call them. And well, we can extend it in all axes also um, to uh, well save some space, basically. But it's not more efficient. Well, uh, you probably seen my power tutorial, so it's uh, my new one. Maybe you haven't seen my new one. Uh, then check that out. It's much better than my old one. Surprise, surprise! But I actually learn. I actually learn new stuff in Stormy too. Oh well. Um, mm. We we want quite much power. Um, it's kind of important, especially for a fighter. Uh, we will rely more on generation than we will rely on uh, what do we call them? Rely on the storage of the power. That's not as important for us. Okay, I think this might be a decent power setup. Um, now, we will design a little interior for this one. And mm, uh, change my mind again, I want to... No. Yes, I want to break off with some grey hull. Uh, we won't use the scaffolding very soon, so we can exchange that. Now, here we go. Little interiors. We of course will close it off here. That one will be a part of the seat, so that's nice. Now, this space we will use to make a uh, downfoldable HUD thing. Uh, so that's rather fancy. But that's a later issue, if you so say. Um, oh, I think we actually use some uh, Masset. Oops, wrong. Masset, uh, kind of these for some of the interiors, and then we will break off with uh, some holes here, like every second. We'll make a good... Yeah, that's that's really nice. Alright. Now let's see here, how are you? It's like this. Can we undock this? No, we can't. Can't undock a design. Surprise. Oh wow. Now, what's the next thing? We want to have some... Uh, well, we want a little more than 50,000 in power. So we will make a little. But, I just realized that uh, 
we probably want a scanner. It's an advanced ship, you know. So we will have all the fancy things available. Um, so this one, we have a scanner. Let's align it in a nice... Or we could actually... Yeah. Then we should have some scanner antenna. Because uh, you see that... Uh, No, we will not have an efficient scanner. <laughs> we will have an inefficient little antenna later on. Um, I believe we will have one like in the front like this, sticking down little antenna, just like that. <laughs> then we will have uh, the obligatorical radar jammer, I mean. Who doesn't even uh, use a radar jammer these days? Um, I should use search. It's probably more fast. Radar jammer. Like that. And we can actually stack these computers here so we have more space. Um, I guess, yep, they're connected up. Um, then we will go into and see what we got more. All the funny systems. And there are lots of fancy computers all over the place. Um, question is what effect we want to have. If we want to have it be extra fast. Um, I don't think so. I don't think it will be extra fast. Maybe we will have more. A little of everything. <laughs> no, not really. All right, what does this do? Okay, weapon controller effect, push effect to weapon. Okay, or take off burst. Overdrive, make us go faster. Ion supports the shields, pull. Well, that's basically a break. Stop is anti-gravity. Um, and what is this? That's, whoops, punch through. Put. Okay, armor deduction bonus, damage done to this structure, cost less armor, H points. So if we have a punch through computer, we will basically boost our armor, and that's really cool. If we have the EMP, um, then let's see here, effect forward to the note that for full effect uh, link to weapon system a defensive effect uh, okay power damage protection okay um, then we can't get drained as easily and explosive was uh, momentum effect protection protects against the effect of momentum weapons that's what is momentum weapons uh, do you mean kind of cannons or isn't all weapons except the beams momentum weapons? That's very cryptical. Um, Anti-grav, punch through. Oh well, what I decide, we will have defensive effects on this uh, computer. We will have a punch through effect. And we will have a little shield boost. Um, so we will have also an ion effect. This will probably be quite small weapons, but whatever. So that's cool. Now, um, moving further on, I guess we should uh, fill out with some basic, uh, a little basic just. So the armor protection damage, that. Now, one thing is, I think they... Do they maybe counter each other? And if that's so... Um, damage... Um, 
Maybe we can make this bigger. No, we can't. Um, well. Individual alternative, yes. I would want to have this like a bigger screen, would be nice. Um, yes. Damage under risk cost less armor hope. But it doesn't have so it doesn't have a negative effect? Or does the iron is that the only one that has a negative effect? Um, shield protection stronger against damage at the price of additional block damage. Um, okay, okay, blocks get a bit more. Um, so as long as shields are up, we will have our iron activated. And if uh, shields get down, well, then we can deactivate it. Now, that's that. Then let's have a little iron effects here. I'm basic like that. I think we will have our punch through. Uh, we will rely more on uh, armor than on shields for this build. Like that. Alright. We should set up this symmetry plane again. Whoops. Looks great. Um, now. What was I thinking? Little, little speed boost maybe. Maybe just a little speed boost. Um, that will make us be able to uh, compete with... Uh, well, most NPC ships have uh, well, are a bit slower. So we only need to be slightly faster than our enemies in order for this to be a really great idea. And let's see here. Symmetry plane mode, right here. Scale down a bit and... Uh, yep. This will make us a few percent faster. Now! Now. Um, I'm sorry for taking so long time of thinking, but I'm. Uh, um, I think I think hard and good um, because I want uh, all my builds to be what I imagine them to be. But let's see now. The next logical step: should we start engaging weapons? No. We have a pretty basic setup right now. Um, some power capacitors wouldn't sit wrongly. Uh, we also would want to have a couple of shields. Um, understandably enough. Like that. We fill up this little space here. Uh -huh well protected between all these modules. Like that. Should be nice. Uh, if we look at our stats here that I totally hidden away, uh, our power is now... eleven. I think that this might be the power of... Uh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I kind of... no, didn't work. Power info. Uh, recharge rate... Okay, capacity. That's 880,000. Yes, 80,000. It's uh, It mixes itself with dirt of Pandora Haven, so it gets pretty confused. Um, but that's as it well might be. Um, as you know, I seen a good graph on uh, well the Reddit page of uh, Starmade, 
uh, and apparently it's much more efficient to have uh, docked thrusters or a little more efficient it's actually it's actually best to have super many docked thrusters um, but we will have these are the only thrusters we will have on board the rest of them will actually be docked entities so well I think that's pretty cool and uh, jump drives are just perfect for interior design like here jump drives and jump drives and jump drives and it looks awesome all right um that we can fill out later we do not want to mess with the awesome uh, structure of uh, <laughs> or the little server room because that needs to be well and nicely protected we however will make a little like this maybe jump drives is good to have uh, I think that's good um, we want to have an arsenal of different weapon systems Oh, and actually, what we can make it look a little bit bigger using uh, thin slabs like this. Of course, we won't get more space, but it will look more spacious. And that can, well, be really nice, actually. So now that's uh, caught up. And uh, countermeasures. I believe that we will have uh, a few countermeasures here, but the countermeasures uh, is actually... Let's see here. Maybe we should uh, have them uh, a bit more further out on the structure. I will look at rails. I do not remember in my head how much uh, of... Uh, well, what its armor stats are. No, can we? Yes. <laughs> it's uh, sad that you can't read about them, but if I remember correctly, uh, rails have a little bit of armor or something. I think they're not completely defenseless, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. Now, countermeasures, we will dump them off. Uh, here it will basically be uh, a couple of docked entities, like three three docked cores that will absorb some uh, seeing missiles in a battle. Um, of course, our seeking missiles will also hit them. So you can only use them when you are in a, well, when your enemy is more powerful or so. Inner ship remote. That's nice. Uh, we'll have this inner ship remote right here. And we'll set this one. And uh, we connect it up to all of these. And it will now, well, control its release and so. And we write it in counter measures. Yeah. <laughs> my spelling is epic now um, after this we will start to prepare where we will have the turret the turret will be just about behind us where we sit and uh, I think here the turret will like start however <laughs> thing is that we also um, need place for the flip down HUD. Maybe we will make the HUD uh, firstly, because the turret is easy to adapt later on. Rail turret. So we will... I would like to have several building hotbars. That would be really awesome. Um, 
but we will drag down some... Uh, oh, ho, ho. How will we find all these later? Oh well, we'll do it um, like that. And... Uh, the rotational block will be able to sit. It can actually sit like anywhere, but I think it will sit very good around here. So if we go in here and we... We can use it in any direction because we will select uh, like later on. And there will be one. Now we can unset these. Um, oh. That. More like that. And now it, that should be of course not connected up. Rail locker here. Then we will have core maybe well, oh, I see a problem. We need to move the core a bit as uh, we actually need it to be not colliding with anything. <laughs> That's a plus. Yeah, but this is not a real corner. We can actually use that space. Good. Now let's see here. We should now create a new entity. Create docking right there. Yep. And we will place the core Oh, where is it? There. Okay, spawn dock. And that's the hood. Will it spawn? It will spawn. Fantastic. Um, that's really cool. So what we'll do now is basically make some good logics. Um, I suspect that... We'll use our little bane here. Activation modules or buttons? I believe buttons. To connect to the rails. Okay, oh right, that's, uh, that's actually not uh, space. Um, they will be up in the air. This is the and this is the counter and counterclockwise. Then we will have some buttons between them here. Let's see here. No. Oh. No. Oh. Is this a button? It is. And now let's see here. I think this should connect to this one, right? And if we activate it, it works fine. And that's connected to this one too. Yeah, that's good. Then we should make a flip-flop kind of thing, I believe. And a not gate. Not signal. Hmm. Okay, we extend over here. <laughs> uh, uh, this is some crammed log logics. It uh, really is. But, uh, well... I guess these need to be connected to each other. So we can then... Huh. And now we can toggle this. Maybe we need to use a signal to just toggle it. Alright. That will be to that and that will be to that, right? Then they will... Uh, uh, this is like a toggle switch now. Um, so then we will of course have a in-ship stuff. Uh, but that will connect up later. Um, so basically, if we connect up to that... Yep, it works like a charm. This is exactly the result we want. Um, now we will have this button here temporarily. And I think we will link it together with an inner ship remote. Um, because we want that toggling button effect. 
So what we will do is that we will take our inner ship remote and we will connect them to each other like this. So when any of them is connected, well, we basically use the toggle feature. Okay. Turn up, turn down. So this is HUD down. We should now make HUD down um, how the HUD looks when it's down. This is the HUD. Yep. Now, HUD we of course will use a text screen and uh, what I have learned is that you actually can use alt codes um, for, well, and that's that's really cool that you can use alt codes. <laughs> oh no! It's, uh, it's, that's, mm, that's exactly why I hate uh, this feature here, um, is that now we need to remake this because well it's in the wrong orientation and then our text screens will be in the wrong orientation and uh, yeah so we will create a new docking mm -mm -mm, create docking right here and we will place the core here now we should be more careful of how we positioning the core I think that this is the right positioning this is the hood and uh, we will now go out and check if this is the case because it's not all right this is very strange um, but maybe we can make it sense like now oh yes now the hood is correct <laughs> um, We just check that. Now it should be like felt down and now it's oh. Let's see here what's up and what's down. This is how it should be. So then we will basically and now it's pulled down. Alright, then we press the other button. We should press it like twice now it should be up and it is now if I press the toggle button can I turn get it down no I can't but it shouldn't really matter uh, now it's up and now it's down so if the screen should be Ugh. This is the... oh, that's a weird orientation. Now, can we get the text screen of actually being in the right angle? Because that's the only important thing. And we can. So if this is the text screen, uh, it's like this. Now it's up. And if we press it, it's... oh, now it's up. And now it's down. Well, that's kind of what we're searching for. So now it's up. Or up or down, I mixed them. But now we can see it, and now we can see it. Alright. We will make a little extension to in front of uh, the core, basically, where the text will be displayed. Now, I think we should have it kind of around there, maybe. We don't want to keep it too far away, because then we will have problems with uh, making it visible for us. Okay, and like that. We can just do a little test thing. This is not going to be very accurate, but little plus there. And uh, some equals, so it's good and visible, like that. Oh, we of course need quite much more. Uh, there. 
there's maybe good. So now we can see we have a little hover text that's if we go inside air and go to flight mode, uh, it's too far up, but uh, if we go into well, this weapons menu and we find a HUD, we should be able to can't unduck a design. Oh yeah. Can I like toggle this? <laughs> okay. Maybe we can't really use it uh, when we're not in it, really. Okay, well that's fancy. <clears throat> Doesn't matter, uh, it works as it should and that's the important part. Now of course we can move unnecessary blocks. All right, we need to do it in this way. And that we don't need either. So we have the important parts for this uh, hood now. That's cool. Now, next steps. Uh, what are we going to have uh, for weapon systems? Well, one thing we will have is that we will have a uh, automatic clock that fire fires uh, heat seeks. That's something we want. But uh, one thing we also will do is uh, we'll install these countermeasures. they will be pretty compact like that and of course of those doesn't really matter uh, so we will create more of these create docking like that and there oh oops oh, well doesn't matter they will all be remained renamed anyways <laughs> sometime later oh yeah perfect these are our three countermeasures that we will be able to shoot out if we get in real trouble uh, or to lure pirates to lock on to stupid targets. Might be worth it if one is in real trouble. Now we will go and uh, fix some shields. Oops, what did I... Oh, that's the power. Oh well. The uh, orientation of these matters little, but we'll have a little little string of these shield modules here. Anyways, then we will have uh, prepare the docks for the thrusters. It will of course be two quite big uh, thrusters. Now this is two little shields. Uh, we of course need some more. Um, question is where will we'll fit that? And uh, well, we will not rely super heavily on shields, but one should have like a basic shield. Otherwise we will need to do very much repairs all the times and that's just going to be expensive. That's a little, little shield there. See if they can move still. No problem. If we put it here, we will basically freeze them. Uh, so we can't do that. But we can put them like here. All right. I guess one actually could have a little angled piece here. Would that work? Yep, that's worked. Well, that's good. Here we can also fit a couple of shields. Just like that. Have we, whoops, have we blocked anything off is the question. No, still not. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, we see, however, that uh, <clears throat> well, um, this ship needs to be quite high um, to be able to basically fit these, uh, yeah, the HUD. <laughs> Uh, awesome rail builds in very small ships isn't space efficient okay <laughs> and it's like a, I saw awesome ship before with these fantastic rail doors and it was a little ship and uh, well it had no systems because it had two cool rail doors we will of course have a one cool rail door <clears throat> I think but uh, not more than so well um, this will actually be this for uh, this time of our advanced fighter. We will continue build and perfecting it in uh, future episodes. So I hope you find it interesting maybe to have... Uh, or I think it's really nice to have other people's like Let's Plays or uh, pods or stuff about Star Made uh, uh, in the background um, when <laughs> you're playing Star Made. I, I don't know. Anyways, see you next time. This is Jimmy Desmond Total Nerdy Channel, officially out.